Hi guys, welcome to Kim's Crochet and Knits. I have hit over 100 subscribers and I am so excited about it. I just can't believe it and I am so thankful to everybody. Anyways, um, I'm going to do a giveaway, but I'm not sure when. I did put an order in for some Knit Picks yarn and I want to dye some and put that in it. So that's... It'll probably be a few weeks down the road, but uh, it'll be a good giveaway. Anyways, moving on. Got some whips. Okay. Here is, this is actually the shawl that the pattern we got with our last month's knit crate. I didn't have enough yarn to finish, so I used some of my own. Um, this is some of the yarn that I dyed myself. I don't know if you can see the colors in there, but it's like a purple. There's the Pico Edge. Now, I haven't blocked it yet, so they're not really dominant yet. They're not sticking out. But that's my Pico Edge. I think it turned out so beautiful. It looks really nice, too. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. Um... I got here. Oh, you guys know the little amber groomies you get at Michael's? I did the skull. His nose is severely messed up and he has a smirk. But <laughs> isn't that so cute? Look at his little flowers. I absolutely love it. And I'll tell you, there was a lot of yarn left. I bet you I could make about four of these instead of two. It says two, but. I bet you can make it about four. Yeah, his nose is really messed up, but I tried. I tried. I still love him. I'm gonna put him right on my desk. Okay. Oh, and the next one I'm gonna make is my favorite. Angry Birds. Who doesn't love Angry Birds? How can you not? Look at their faces. I just wanna hug them, make them matter. Anyways, um, you guys maybe noticed my, uh, my cowl. I made this just the other day. Um, I forgot what the name of the girl who did the pattern, but I will put it in the link below. And, uh, I used Impeccable by Loops and Threads. And it is in the colorway um, Rose Fog Varg. Yeah. And I used uh, 4.5 for this. Yeah, I love it. It's really nice. I like the colors in it. So, anyway, it's just right like that. That old top. Yeah, I got that at Michael's. I think I paid, I don't know, four or five bucks for that. Maybe they were on sale. I can't remember. Pretty sure I showed it in one of my previous videos. Um, these were on sale for three bucks. The Karen Simply Soft. And I got this is the colorway Pagoda. It is very soft. I haven't worked with this particular particular yarn yet so I got one of these I got a white and I got a gray and I think the three colors will look good together this one fell off yeah so these three moving along I went back to Michael's for some more of that loops and threads beautiful yarn Look at it. This one is colorway Peachy Keen. Isn't that pretty? This one, Tangerine. Yeah, I'd say Tangerine. Isn't that pretty? This one, 
dark salmon. It is so pretty. That is really pretty, eh? And if it's focusing there. And this one, I love burgundies. So this one's Milano Red. I had to stop myself. I was going to go back today and get more. Um, this one is Baby Blues. Isn't that beautiful? They're all 100 grams. Yeah, 100 grams. 243 yards. 222 meters. 3.5 ounces. And it's the loops and threads. I'm dropping it. I probably have one, two, three, four, five, ten or twelve of these guys. And then, as you've seen before, I've got some of the mini ones. This one is Caribbean Blues. Ooh, got some purple down there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my god. Like, I really love this stuff. I really love it. How can you not? Look at those colors. Like, oh my god. I cannot wait to put that into something. That was the tang tangerine. Oh, and I made this too. Like the same yarn. But this is knitted. Look how much different. Look how much different the crocheted color looks to the knitted. And it's the same yarn. This little wee tiny hat I made. Isn't that so cute? And there's where I sewed it together. I'm going to have to do them. I'm going to do them on circulars next time. But anyways, yeah. I'll probably give it to charity. But I really like the colors. I should make a bigger one for myself. And that's knitted. Then I went to a second hand store. Because I always stop in there and went to buy a few things to help. You know, charities and whatnot. I got these. Needles Crafters Yarn Lane. Soft and Fuzzy. 100% polyester. I got two of these. I paid two bucks for both together. Two dollars. 50 grams each. And I got two of these. These were 95 cents each. And they're the Sadar Snuggly Bubbly. Double knitting. It says it's um there is no shade color, it's just got a number, but 140 yards, 50 grams, 100% nylon, and 100% polyamide. I don't know if they heard of polyamide. I've heard a few people say it, but this one, I wish they had more of this. This is Sadar Snuggly 2, but this is really pretty yarn. I love it. I wish I had more. I would have made a little sweater. So I don't know if I can get a sweater out of that. I think that's all. And here is my Odyssey shawl that I'm starting by Hokey using my um, my yarn that I dyed myself. So yeah, let's get that on my circulars. Now this is my first time doing a shawl like this that's knitted like. It's going to have any kind of anything but just knitting back and forth, back and forth. So I'm pretty excited about it. And my Weekender sweater is coming along. I'm trying. I am. There's the design. And it is, it's knitted inside out, the sweater. That's the design that goes up and down the back. There you go. You can kind of see the braid there. It goes up and down the back. I really love this color too. So I got that and I did start one more shawl by Fiber Spider. It's a Crescent shawl. It's his wheat something shawl. I'll put it in the description below, but 
I started last night. Isn't that so pretty? And I'm using the exact same yarn he used for the exact same shawl. It is the Mandela in the colorway Genie. And I'm using a size, oh, good lord, five. Couldn't remember. Don't, I love those greens in there, the, how it goes from green to gray like that. That is like so pretty. So I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. Be exciting. Let's see what else I got here. And I had bought this. Where are those little there? <coughs> I wanted to make some. <coughs> Excuse me. I wanted to make some stitch markers out of these. I got them from Wish. Little scissors. A little sewing machine. <laughs> this one actually says Singer on it. And a little button and another little cluster of buttons so yeah <coughs> oh measuring tape yeah so i'm going to make oh god you can almost use this one just for a darning needle i don't think i'll turn that into a stitch marker that could be dangerous but I will keep it around. It could be handy in a, <laughs> in a bind. I'll put him in my um, my cactus. That I'm pretty sure I showed you guys a few times. He's all full of this, that, and the other. But yeah, I got those. And I had some safety guys come and a few other items I like to get from there. And I am dropping everything on the floor. And I got this. This is the cutest. Sorry for the crinkle. I usually take these out of the package before. Isn't it cute? It's a little ball, a little needle, it's a necklace. Isn't that so, so cute? Oh, it just shows up pretty good, just like that. Maybe not. Yeah. Now my mom's ring turned around. Isn't that so cute? I thought it was anyway, so I had to order it. Actually, it was free, just shipping, so I paid $4 shipping. That was about it. But yeah, I pretty much want to come here too to say that I am going to have a giveaway and I uh, wanted to put some of my own hand-dyed yarn in. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. So subscribe, like, this is not the video to do anything on. It'll be a further video ahead that uh, I'll let you know to, what to do. Maybe tell me something about yourself. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, look forward to that. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.